Hi friends, I know you've been waiting so patiently to start our new chapter book and the chapter book that Mrs. Reed is going to start reading to you guys is Junie B. Jones and this is the first book of the series and it's Junie B. Jones and the Stupid Smelly Bus. Now um, Junie B. Um, is in first grade so you guys are going to be going into first grade so I thought what a better time to start reading this story. So I will do um, <clears throat> one or two chapters a day depending on how long they are and um, like today I might do two chapters um, and then we will go from there. So there is, it is a chapter book so there's not very many pictures, less than Flat Stanley. So not even every page has a picture but if it does have pictures I will show you. And Barbara Park wrote this book. She wrote all the Junie B. Jones books. So can't wait to get started. So chapter one of this book is called Meeting Misses. And there is a picture of Junie B. And there she is. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except I don't like Beatrice. I just like B, and that's all. I am almost six years old. Almost six is when you go to kindergarten. Kindergarten is where you go to meet new friends and not watch TV. My kindergarten is the afternoon kind. Today was my first day of school. I'd like been to my room before though. Last week, mother took me there to meet my teacher. It was called Meet the Teacher Day. My teacher was decorating the bulletin board with letters of the alphabet. I already know all those letters. I said, I can sing them, except I don't feel like it right now. My teacher shook my hand, only our hands didn't fit together that good. Her name was Mrs. I can't remember the rest of it. Mrs. says I look cute. I know it, I said. That's because I have on my new shoes. I held my foot way up high in the air. See how shiny they are? Before I put them on, I licked them. And guess what else, I said. This is the bestest hat. Grandpa Miller bought it for me. See, the devil horn sticking out of the sides. There's Junie B and her teacher, Mrs. Mrs. laughed, except I don't know why. Devil horns are supposed to be scary. Then we walked around the room and she showed me where stuff was, like the easels where we get to paint and the shelves where the books are and the tables where we sit and watch TV. One of the table, or don't watch TV. One of the tables in the front of the room had a red chair. I would like to sit here, I think, I told her. But Mrs. said, well, we'll have to wait and see, Junie. B, call me Junie B, I said. I hollered the B part real loud so she wouldn't forget. People are always forgetting the B. Mother rolled her eyes and looked at the ceiling. I looked up there too, but I didn't see anything. Are you going to ride the bus, Junie B? Mrs. asked me. I made my shoulders go up and down. I don't know. Where's it going to? My mother nodded her head and said, yes, she'll be riding the bus. That made me feel scary inside because I never ride it on a bus before. Yeah, only where's it going to? I said again. Mrs. sat on her desk. Then she and my mother talked more about the bus. I tapped on Mrs. Guess what? I still don't know where it's going to. Mrs. smiled and said the bus driver's name was Mr. Wu. Mr. Wu, mother, said mother, that's an easy name for Junie B to remember. I covered my ears and stamped my foot. Yeah, I only, where's the stupid smelly bus going to? Mother and Mrs. frowned. Frowning is when your eyebrows look grumpy. Watch yourself, Missy, said mother. Missy's my name when I'm in trouble. I looked down at my shoes. They didn't look shiny as they did before. Just then, another mother and a boy came in, and Mrs. went off to talk to them instead of me. I don't know why, though. The boy was hiding behind his mother and acting very babyish. I can't beat that boy up, I think. Or I can beat that boy up, I think. After that, my mother sat me down and explained about the bus. She said it's yellow, and it's called a school bus and it stops at the end of my street. When I get on it and sit down, and it takes me to school. And then your teacher will meet you 
in the parking lot, said Mother. Okay, Junie B, won't that be fun? I nodded the word yes, but inside my head, I was saying this. That was the end of chapter one, so I'm gonna finish and go to chapter two. Chapter two is called Feeling Squeezy. I stayed scared about the bus for a whole week, and last night when my mother tucked me into bed, I still felt sickish about it. Guess what? I said, I don't think I want to ride the bus to kindergarten tomorrow. Then my mother rumpled my hair. Oh, sure you do, she said. Oh, sure I don't, I said back. Then mother kissed me and said, it'll be fun. You'll see, just don't worry. I did though. I worried very much and I didn't sleep good either. And in the morning, I felt very droopy when I got up and my stomach was squeezy and I couldn't even eat my cereal. So I watched TV until mother said it was time to go. And then I put on my skirt that looks like velvet and my new fuzzy pink sweater and I ate half a tuna sandwich for lunch. After that, mother and I walked to the corner to wait for the bus. And guess what? There was another mother and a little girl there too. The little girl had curly black hair, which is my favorite kind of head. I didn't say hello to her though, cause she was from a different street, that's why. Then finally this big yellow bus came around the corner and the brakes screeched very loud and I had to cover my ears. Then the door opened and the bus driver said, hi, I'm Mr. Wu, hop on. Except I didn't hop on because my legs didn't want to. I don't think I want to ride the bus to kindergarten, I told my mother again. Then she gave me a little push. Go on, Junie B, she said. Mr. Wu's waiting for you. Be a big girl and get on. I looked up at the windows. The little girl with curly back hair was already in the bus. She looked very big sitting up there and kind of happy. I look, look how big that little girl is acting, Junie B, said mother. Why don't you sit right next to her? It'll be fun, I promise. And so I got on the bus and guess what? It wasn't fun. And that is the end of chapter two. So Junie B is going to kindergarten just like you guys did. And the next couple books is talks about how she likes kindergarten and then she heads to first grade, which is very fun. So join me tomorrow where I will read two more chapters in Junibee Jones. Have a great night, friends. Bye.